But we get up <laughs> for a saint's chance to send a who fell down <laughs> and got up. <laughs> I don't know why that song was in my head. So I don't know if somebody could feel like they fell down on hard times or like we fall down. But we get up. That's alchemy, baby. Because of that, got the magician, baby. Because what? You got to hit rock bottom to find your way back up. So for real saints, it's just <laughs> with the chariot and the magician, baby. You finna find your way forward. You're manifesting like a new way forward. I heard somebody's manifesting like a new car. You could be a Gemini. I heard don't blame yourself for like the setbacks that you may face. Okay, it happens. It happens. First card here is guardian angel. You're very protected. I'm telling y'all, as soon as I turned the video on, I we fall down. Wasn't <laughs> because I just was feeling it. It's a spiritual work. You've been a spiritual line of work or being called to, or you're just doing a lot of inner spiritual work. But baby, you are protected. That's why this magician energy is here. You have all the tools that you need within you to bring about a different result, to bring some form of change into your reality. And again, I see you moving forward here over some form of obstacles. The magician in the chair is like you've overcome obstacles and you're manifesting a new way forward embodying the energy of like the alchemist a true magician like something that you're doing is almost like magic with closed doors like yeah you could be realizing like certain doors have been closed again that energy of we fall down like you could have seen that it's like a downfall or like something that you went through as a setback but i'm hearing that it's going to help you to get back get back up again get back up again get back up again oh, yeah, i need to play that Get back up again. So after like some door closes, I'm hearing with celebration, a new one is going to open where you're going to be celebrating or you're going to be celebrating. We get back up again. So yeah, bad things happen every day, boo. Every day. Flexibility. That's why you have to be flexible to change. Because I know that's right. And you know, did you know if you cut off an octopus's leg that they can regenerate that month? They can regenerate it and grow it back. Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, you could be a Cancer or a Gemini or have that heavily in your chart, but I feel like you're you're going to be learning to be very flexible, okay? With many choices, many new opportunities, many choices. So be flexible because you may need to have to kind of explore, <laughs> explore your options. <laughs> Adapt slowly by using versatility, compromise, adaptation, change. So some form of change is coming. And again, you're going to have to be able to adapt and get back up again, get back up again. So yeah, with the magician here, baby, get back up. I don't care. <laughs> What it is, you can still get back up again. We're winning. So, because I'm hearing the only way you lose is if you stay down. The only way you lose is if you don't try. So get back up again. So, adapt slowly. I'm here to take your time, baby. Because we fall down. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, that shit is just heavy. Like, I don't know. Somebody can like that song with perfect fit. I feel like Source is going to redirect you when you get back up again to so something that's like more of a perfect fit for you. Say, like, a relationship just failed horribly. And you just like, damn. I thought that was the one. Like, it hurt my heart. hurt my spirit. Get back up again. Like, get back up. It's like you get back out there. You still, like, try. You still have, like, an open heart. You don't close yourself off. You don't become who hurt you. You still love. You still healing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you're going to find this perfect fit that's meant for you. Say it was like a job. And you just like, damn. Like, I really thought this job had my best interest. I've been working for this job for five years. And it just let me go over one little mistake. Or they let me go over one little, like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff happens. But you get back up again. And it's something about you learning to not let these changes stop you. Um, even if it's slow you down a little bit, but it's given like you are rolling with the changes. And again, something that's going to be a perfect fit. It's like you losing a job and it's just like now you go towards a job that's like, damn, I used to stand up at my whole job the other time. And now I get to sit down at this job and just like relax and like, I get paid. Like I'm here like somebody, this is going to be, a, it's going to be good for you. It's going to work for you. It's going to be a perfect fit for not Johnny, not Tabitha, not Samantha, but for you. I'm not going to be able to live like very comfortably or something about a vacation could be significant. I'm hearing like, especially after like some type of something that you went through where you had to get back up again. But like, you could have been like, damn, like this took a, this took a real life toll on me or something. You know, just take, some of y'all need to take up like a vacation. But you are manifesting like a way forward. I'm hearing again, something about a hard travel. I'll be so tired of these cars falling. Okay, so some of y'all are walking straight into like wealth. When you get back up again, that's the gift from the divine because you got back up again and you didn't stop. 
What he say? For a saint is just a sinner who fell down, but got back up. You got your ass back up. You kept going. You was okay. Shit happens. It hurt. I let myself feel it. I'm not saying be a robot out here and act like you ain't got no emotions. You ain't got, you not a person. Like, you're not supposed to feel stuff. Like, stuff ain't gonna hurt you. People like, I don't really feel like getting out of bed today. But I heard, excuse me, confirmation. I heard a, a video of Beyonce where she was saying, I let myself have like, what? She said 24 hours to be sad about something or something like that. 48 hours. She said, and after that, it's like, girl, you gotta, you go, we gotta, you don't even have time. I'm here. Like, you ain't got time to be sitting there like, oh, what was me? Why me, Lord? Why this person just working with me? Why he acting funny towards me? I ain't got time for it. I got shit to do. I'm here. I got to tend to my father's business. I got shit to do. So some of y'all, yeah, whatever this is that you're going toward is like this change that could have happened maybe just unexpectedly where you had to learn to be flexible. You had to learn to be adaptable. Um, something that you're manifesting is going to be a perfect fit for you. And for many of you, it has to, it's bringing wealth into your life. That's the gift I'm hearing from the divine. And it said, it says, it says, keep up the great work. You are moving towards real wealth and prosperity. So this is for something that you've been putting in work for. I'm here like for some of y'all, this could even been like a business. Maybe your business plateaued or something that happened with your business, but you kept going. Like maybe it was some type of financial setbacks you, you faced with your business where you just felt like, damn, all this all hope is lost. But no, it was actually redirecting you towards a new level of wealth. Like you had to face that downfall. You had to go through rock bottom or something like that exhausted i wouldn't make it up literally and you could be at a point where you just exhausted you just want peace you just want i'm hearing you just want peace like damn near above like i'm hearing all like somebody could be like yes you want to be like wealthy and you but it's something about you wanting peace because you've went through so much hell and chaos and you're gonna get that sources sending you a gift you could be in a public eye with public face here somebody may be very well known soon even if you weren't before maybe because of something that you went through a story that could be very inspiring to others and you are i hear or you will be very inspiring but again it's because you always had the courage and the drive and that passion within you to get back up again public face and opportunity for some of you it's going to be like a new opportunity that arises for you to go towards some level of wealth or success and again whatever it is i heard news anchor it's like somebody could like pick you out and just like i want you to um do something like maybe you took journalism classes and you didn't think that an opportunity was going to come to you yeah we got the fruits of labor so now it's actually that time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor even if you were facing those hard times it's time for you to eat now we're home base you're getting like a new home relocating changing your environment and it's like I heard when people see that you get back up or you got back up from a situation, they weren't expecting that. Because, again, at one point you were going through like this level of where you had to build and you had to you had to plant the seeds. When you plant seeds, you don't get the tomato the same damn day. You have to wait for it to grow. And that's what I'm feeling like you guys were doing. For some of you, you could have been like saving up for a home or like, yeah. And I feel like, um, but you had to wait for you to get be granted access to, to these like fruits of your labor. Like it wasn't, I heard the, the fruit was not ripe yet. It wasn't time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor at one point. It wouldn't have tasted right. You wouldn't have been able to enjoy it the right way. You wouldn't have been able to really be appreciative and grateful for it. Uh, again, for some of you, this could just be like a new home, a house that's coming in or an apartment. Like it's just the divine going to give you a gift or the means to do something that maybe in the past you didn't you didn't have the, the means to do so. With closed doors and mind power. I feel like now certain doors that were closed and like your, your intellect, your intelligence is helping you to keep those doors closed for some of you because you know that it is not for you. You've gained the like the wisdom to know that yeah when the one door closed that means that was my protection for some of you i heard it is your mind power that was helping like um maybe you to open certain doors that were closed before um it was something about your intelligence to get you through certain opportunities and doors that were being open for you because of your mind power your intelligence your ability to like think rationally like things that may have been off limits for other people is not for you but i'm more so getting to for some of you actually doors are closing right now for as for a chance you to start all over fresh and get back up again with surprise like it's going to be a surprise as to how source is bringing this around for some of you yeah with an investment wiser investments i heard yeah with loyalty here so it was giving like a, a, something about a loyal com company though because again i was getting like that energy of like maybe you been you gave your all to a company you were very loyal to a company then it's like the one little thing happened or one mishap or setback and they let you go or it's just a lot it was it wasn't loyal it wasn't like it just didn't it didn't do nothing for you or at least it seemed like that but it will ultimately because i'm hearing like something is going to be a wiser investment now you're going to be like towards a job that's very loyal towards their workers and they accommodate them and it's very it's a lot of like perks and like you know um what is that called when it, uh, jobs like benefits or whatever 
I mean, again, like for some of you, it's going to be a wiser investment, maybe in love. Like you used to make, you, you could have felt like you made poor choices or investments in love. Like that was just a, a waste of investing. And now um, I feel like, yeah, with loyalty here, like you have someone that's going to be very loyal to you with social status coming in. And for some of you, your person could actually be the one in the public eye. And it could be very popular or something about their social status but i'm also getting for some of you too that it could even be you actually are the one that's going to be a public face or like in some form of like popularity fame or social status because it says you will reach the heights of fame in society don't get arrogant and this is why sources telling you you had to reach rock bottom so that you can know when you get to the top this is what it felt like to be at the top because i know what it was like to be at the bottom like i came i heard you wasn't spoon fed you could have came from nothing i heard like you came from like kind of like you could have struggled growing up or like your mama didn't have it that much, your daddy didn't have it that much. You're like, but you want to be the difference. You're going to be a different story than what you were used to, what you came out of, like poverty or whatever. Um, because you're getting back up again or something like that. With fertility, or like literally. It's something that you're about to birth. Um, but the source is just reminding you to stay humble. Stay very humble. I heard there's going to be people that obviously want to like attach themselves to you because of this success that's coming in for you. This, this, this opportunity, this fame, it's an investment that they're going to be able to see. You know, even getting like you got to really be discerned for in this new season. And because I'm also getting that when people try to come towards you, they're going to try to. It's, it's more so because they want something out of you. Like say somebody's like, um. They want to be a friend. This person wants you to like promote their stuff, stuff so they can get like clap. It's like you're going to have to really be discerned from on why people are connecting themselves to you. I heard you don't owe nobody shit. So you, this is how you need to start moving. I'm saying you got to move in a way of like, oh, I'm hoarding my success, my no. It's like you have to, you want genuine people around you and not people who want to come. Because what I'm hearing, like, if it's not genuine, the moment you cease to do something that these motherfuckers like, and y'all learn from me. Somebody that's in the public eye. I ain't saying I'm the most famous person now because I'm definitely not. Far from it. But. It's like when people come towards you and they expect something out of you and it's like you could just be simply living your life. Maybe you supporting somebody. I just want to support a black-owned business. This is like the type of people want. They're going to expect like, oh, you should be a constant buyer or you should be a constant supporter or you should be a and it's like baby i was doing that out of the kind of some of my heart we're not even like who cool like that we don't even know each other we're not, it's like people are going to start expecting things out of you or like all out of like what is that called like privileged or like entitlement fucking entitlement once you get on a certain level of wealth or a social status i'm telling y'all and i just heard specifically your person has gone through the same exact thing and that's why y'all are going to be equally yoked for those of you who are coming to like a loyal investment or somebody that's like very loyal to you for some of you it's like a loyal friend that's coming into your life but i'm getting like watch out for wolves and sheep's clothing or people who only want to like take from you or they're only coming around because they want you to do something from you for them and when you don't they like start shading you or like oh well i'm not supporting anybody's business that don't support mine or like girl Never even knew who you were. Um, never even had to support you because I only wanted to support you out of the kindness of my heart. I feel like it's fake when you only like somebody expects you to just, I don't know. And then maybe that's just me. I feel like I want somebody to support me because they want to support me. Not every single day because it's just like, I feel like I have to support this person. If you don't like a post that I made, you don't got to like that shit. And that's the problem that I have with people. It'd be like very fake shit. They'd be feeling like, oh, because we're cool or because you should like everything that I'm posting and you should just, I don't have to do that because I don't agree with everything about anyone. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Feel like i should have to do that or like oh um i bought 10 of your products you should buy at least five of mine like don't really like what you have to sell i would buy it if i liked it or like uh, maybe sometimes i just did shit out of the kindness of my heart maybe not even like the fact that i like what they were selling but it's like then they expect like you to be like do more like uh, girl i don't owe you shit so some of y'all gonna have to stand up for yourself or get on these boundaries now before these opportunities come in for you or this level of wealth because you are going to have users or people who are going to want to act like they're loyal and they're not. And that's just why Source is saying, like, you are very intelligent. You have this mind power. Use your mind power and your logic when it comes to certain people that's going to be coming around you because they see you as, like, an opportunity. They see, you, they see you as somebody who could potentially change their life, who could potentially change the outcome of their business or their, you know, their clientele and their, their platform I'm hearing. Look, it's snakes. You're shedding these energies, though. I, say, I see you coming into a new form of yourself with sweet success. People see, I heard sweet lick, though. People feel like you're a sweet lick. Like, I heard, like, taking candy from a baby. Yeah, not so much. Because you used to be a people pleaser. You used to be the type of person who just, I just wanted to be, no, I'm hearing like that. What was that video of that one lady? Um, no, I'm going to pull it up. What your guardian angels, this is who's saying this. I'm telling y'all, y'all guardian angels telling y'all now it's time to get serious, like, about, like, 
because you're fed and going to some level of success and i feel like people are going to be trying to like oh you know play on your kindness you are very and this is why you're being blessed because you're very kind-hearted and this is the video i'm talking about Okay, so yeah, she, she, this is a season where you have to have walk in this authority and you have to walk in like knowing who you are. No more timidness or shyness or letting people kind of like get over on you. Like, no, stand up for yourself. Somebody could be in a very independent energy where now you have to do something by yourself. Or again, like you're coming into a new, again, with the guardian angel, this is a protective angel. So I feel like they're protecting you from these type of people who only want to come around you, don't like you for real, talking shit behind you, your back, snake ass energies, you're shedding them. You're shedding a lot. I'm hearing you're outgrowing a lot of people, a lot of dynamics. Them disloyal people are being, that's that's the doors that's being closed. I'm hearing, see it for what the fuck it is. Say you say you just moved or something like that. Or say you just got a new job and all of a sudden, like, you got your sister or, like, a, a family figure cuts you off. Or, like, oh, they just distance themselves from you. It's, see it for what it is. That's, that's jealousy. And even if you feel like, oh, maybe it's not jealousy, it's protection. Source is protecting you from, like, snakes. Source is protecting you from people that don't have your best interest at heart literally before i'm here you reach a level of success so if they wanted to detach themselves from you they wanted to act like oh yeah if i don't talk to this person they gonna really be in trouble them because they they need me to succeed or oh yeah oh yeah they gonna wish they didn't do that i'm here they gonna wish they didn't, they didn't act certain ways towards you or uh, some of y'all this is gonna be um an opportunity that's coming up in your love life okay and remember i was saying like your person went through a, something a little similar like you guys they were used to people being users only coming around them to see what they could get from them or maybe this person has a certain level of wealth too or success and it's like they're not gonna you're not gonna have to watch your back with this person or worry about if they're using you or y'all are gonna be like each other's protectors um with vacation coming out again like somebody really needs to take like a break you're exhausted or take a vacation take some time to recharge maybe you're taking time off like work and you deserve that you work hard like you deserve that so you could have really been thinking like i just want to take some time and like you know yeah resources on here you're going to be provided for you could have been thinking like if something's going to be enough if i make a move or if i uh how if i go towards a certain path or make a certain decision i feel like as long as you're using like your resources wisely or you're being wise about your investments and how you're like spending or like something that you're like these resources because i heard like obviously you're going to be provided for by the divine um but just be wise about how you're using what you're giving okay because you are definitely going through like a transformation at this time. Yeah, with a new beginning and looking. You are looking for like new new energies. You're looking for like this change. You're looking for things that have been hidden. I'm even getting for somebody. Somebody could be getting like chosen soon or scouted. With This card always reminds me of like scouting energy. Like somebody looking for what you have to give with that perfect fit energy. And you just may be the perfect fit. But there is a new beginning coming in for you with independence. What was I saying? You could just be someone who now you're just now finding this new sense of independence. And you are outgrowing a lot of people and shedding a lot of old things about yourself even. Where you're going through a big transformation. And that source is saying it's actually time for you to set your sights higher and your goals higher. Set your like just even things that you were willing to accept in the past. I'm here. Uh, the the price has went up and what is it called like reevaluate your goddamn um what is that called non-negotiables or something like that or like prior it's not even it's given like what is that called uh standards because they weren't even higher i'm hearing they weren't high before like and i say you had low standards but you were attracting dusties or like people that and it's because like people saw on you that you were somebody who you didn't need too much you you, you love people for who they were you weren't looking for their money you weren't looking for that and it's like people could have played on that and thought that they could breadcrumb you and thought that they could give you less than and thought that, that you were just going to accept them what whoever it was or just accept their half-assed love whether it's fat family friends or lovers or uh half-ass like efforts like people wanted to court you but really not even taking you on days or giving you less time effort energy than you even deserve like yeah okay so now you're like i'm gonna give it all to myself i'm and even if i have to do it alone it's giving a survivor by beyonce with independence you're walking into your own independence you're doing it yourself and you're shedding these old energies and now it's sending you through like a new beginning I wasn't going to read this card, but it came out love affair. So it could have even had something to do with like a love affair that was significant to why you're like independent right now. Or maybe you found out you were in a love affair that somebody put you in like a, a love affair. Um, maybe it was somebody that that's at their job or at their workplace or something like that. That's what it mentions on this card specifically. So I don't know if somebody had like a, a affair at their workplace or you could have been wondering like what somebody was doing at work. Like, yeah, that, that definitely was the case or something like that for some of you. But I just get that um, anybody who did you wrong are going to have to watch you be blessed. 
where spirit speaks. You're definitely somebody whose spirit could speak to you. Some of y'all have a father on the other side that's protecting you with fatherly protection or father figure. Um, he's always present. I'm hearing like his energy is very strong. You know when he's around, or you will like you you will know like because his energy is strong. Something about um, it's peaches on this card. I don't know if somebody's from like Georgia, from like uh, Georgia peach, or uh, something about pumpkin. Somebody's father like took him to like a pumpkin patch or something like that, or he could have really like pumpkin seeds, pumpkins. So I do feel like these people from your past are going to be like in uh, some form of like confinement. Somebody could be like going to prison soon. We got the prayer warrior card here. Um, You are definitely like a prayer warrior. Somebody could have tried to put you in an energy of confinement, but you still got back up again. You could have went through a period of maybe hard times and setbacks, but you still got back up again. I'm so tired of these cars falling. So some of these ancestors collective drink brown liquor. We have a mother and a father here. So somebody, both parents could be on the other side. Wow. And that's so like, you could have went through something again, like you lost both parents or something like that, but they're still both protecting you on the side. I feel like you're a visionary though. They're guiding you to make sure that you reach some level of success. It's even given like somebody could definitely be going into like fame. Because you know, a lot of them be losing their parents and stuff like that too. And it's like, um, I feel like too, sometimes people don't even realize. I feel like a lot of stuff that goes on, it's like, it's like source allows it to happen too. Because what if like the celebrities that lost their parents, like they needed, not saying they needed that to happen, but it's like they needed the extra protection. And who else to protect you better than like a mother or a father? Like say, especially like Kanye, somebody like him that's always in some shit and revealing some shit and exposing some shit. Like his mama would probably be over there protecting the hell out of him. See, she was like his number one fan. So we got visionary. You're definitely like a visionary, though. What did I say? You reached hard times. With hard times, you, you fell upon hard times, but you get back up again with the possibilities. You never stopped having faith or hope. You always knew that it was like endless possibilities. But this is what your ancestors are trying to get you to know. With the seer, you definitely could be a seer. You have some form of like foresight. Cards on the table, you could definitely be a reader. Or you read cards. Or like maybe you went to a seer that told you like something wasn't going to last forever. Like these hard times. Somebody definitely could be like a reader, though. Yeah, we got to keep it classy here. I feel like somebody could have been trying to get you out of your element, especially when you were down or you weren't where you are now or where you're headed. Like somebody could have been trying to like, um, I heard somebody hates on like your skin tone or something like that. I don't know where it just came from. Like somebody could have been trying to like trigger you due to like the, your skin tone. Something like that. Or somebody. Um, but yeah, or what you do. I don't know. Especially if you're like a reader or something like that. It could be, I don't know. Another reader could be like hanging on somebody. But keep it classy. Yeah. Whatever you went through, I heard even when you fell upon hard times, you still kind of kept a level of class. Like maybe people just wouldn't have been able to tell you were going through what you went through. Because of the way that you carry yourself. I'm hearing because of the anointing on your life too. That song, It's a God in Me. You think I'm so, mm. you think I'm so, mm. you think I'm, and they say, uh, but what they don't know is when she gone home and, and she hit the floor and she on her knees and something like that. Like you could be a prayer warrior, like what people don't know behind the scenes is and they're wondering why you're so blessed or why you finna be so blessed. Because what they don't see, why these people have so much to say about you. I'm hearing that you really have a true, strong connection with the father, with the divine, with Yeshua, with Yahweh, whatever you want to call it, whatever you believe in. And this is going to be shown <laughs> with justification as your justice. I'm here, divine justice, literally. This is going to be shown. When people wondering like why what makes you so special what makes you stand out I'm here like you could again let's say you're a tarot reader but you were like a you go way further than most tarot readers like what makes you different I'm hearing like people going to your page like what makes her different than other tarot readers like what makes you and you keep it something very classy so if you are a seer I, I'm, I'm picking up on a seer baby you could definitely be in a spiritual line of work with spirit speaks in the seer and babies this is actually your own gifts I'm here imagine that imagine becoming like a millionaire based off your own gifts off the gift of sight with some i'm hearing you could do something unconventional where many people thought that that can't that can't go that far like that mm, that's not going i'm hearing you could be making more money than certain people that be a certain mm. and that's not even nothing to like be like oh it's for the money no because when you're in your purpose baby the money will flow like water so it's like yeah you could be a seer i'm here a real seer a real seer like you get real life messages downloads and images and like things from spirit where people see you for who you like it's nobody on this earth i'm hearing that's gonna be able to like ruin what you got going on with the divine this contract you have with the divine like this relationship um 
I'm hearing nobody gonna be able to get in the way of your credibility. Like, say somebody don't like you, and they're like, oh, you think that's a seer? Like, people gonna be able to tell you, I mean, first of all, by your fruit, but baby, they're gonna see the anointing all over you. I'm hearing you could read a person inside out like a book to the point where it could have had people scared of you or people scared to connect with you. You know what? Somebody called me the other day, I was in a the mall. They said, are you one of them gypsy type of energies? Oh, I'm scared of them. Say, I wouldn't necessarily call it a gypsy, but sure. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm sure. Like, she was like, oh, I'm scared of them. But I was like, oh, okay. Never asked, but okay. <laughs> Didn't really ask. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but you kind of do, you get that, like, almost you bring that reaction out of some people. Like, you could make people feel very, like, safe and, like, they reveal certain things to you. Or, like, but then other people could be very, like, almost, like, scared because you're very mysterious. What do you know? What does that come with? What does a gift like that even entail? Like, what does that mean? Like, I ain't get it like that. So, what do who are you? What are you? You know what I'm saying? That's the type of energy with spiritual bad. You're somebody who's like very spiritual again, like very gifted. Somebody's ancestors want them to cook them some food or some fish. Fish fry, fish fry and fishing. Somebody really likes, this is like a sign. This could have been somebody's father. He could want you to feed him some fish. He likes fried fish or I heard salmon, salmon. I don't know what type of fish these are on here. You know fish. Like he wants some form of like, he wants a specific type though I'm hearing. Or he wants it to be fried or fried hard. <laughs> he wants it to be fried. Save your own. Like you pay this to like your, your peoples right now. Look to your children. Look to your, your ancestors. Take care of them the same way that they take care of you. But I'm even getting like, um, we have celebrations here because they're going to help you to be celebrated. You're about to be celebrated. Um, they could serve fish at this damn celebration. Maybe that's like a sign. It's going to be like confirmation. Maybe you were wondering like, what should you put on the menu or something? Something about the police. I don't know if the police was involved in the situation. Yeah, with March on, get back up again. Somebody could, this person, their father, or like your, this ancestor could have marched. It could have been like in the marches, like they marched literally. Um, or fought for like their own rights. I feel like you're still going. I don't know if it was a case for like you went through some form of legalities or something that happened with you, but you still were, like persevered or you came up out of some energy that was supposed to like keep you down or keep you stuck. Teach. You could definitely be like a spiritual teacher or you teach others. Um Again, you're a seer. Spirit speaks through you. You get downloads, messages. You're very like a vessel of the Lord. Like the Lord really speaks through you. Again, cards on the table or you're a reader. Somebody could definitely be a reader here. Prayer warrior or prayer warrior. I'm saying, I'm not saying everybody got to be a reader here. Don't go buy no deck of cards if you was not called to do that. But I'm um, saying for somebody, you could be in a spiritual line of work. You could be a reader. You could be called to be a reader or you could just be a very powerful prayer warrior. Like your prayers just move mountains. Like you just... You know who you are and you have a very strong connection with the divine and that's why things happen when you pray like i don't know if somebody was trying to like downplay your ability to like um manifest or like um this this energy of you being like a prayer warrior but i'm hearing something about the stability that you're bringing in or that the divine is actually bringing in um to your life is showing people that you are who you say you are that you are this seer you are this star seed you are this prayer warrior you are very and i'm not saying you have to speak it because you don't even got to say nothing like your fruits will speak for themselves jesus never went around saying i am the son of them yeah i don't know if he did it but i know he really wasn't bragging on himself he wasn't tooting his own horn because people did that for him so trades man it wasn't like I think Jesus was like a carpenter or he worked with his hands or something. But it's like you are chosen um, for whatever this new level of stability, this new job, this career, this new path <laughs> with generational wealth. And get back up again. So what if you never get back up again and then you could have never gotten to this generational wealth? I'm saying for some of y'all need to be careful with this police car keeps showing up. I don't know if somebody's going to try to like steal some form of wealth from you or something or like steal something from you. The genealogy, it could be somebody in your family or like steal something. Somebody could not want you to know that you were like, you were almost like inheriting it. You were due to inherit some form of wealth for some of you. Somebody could have tried to like hide who you're real. Oh, damn, that's messy. I don't Something about like a father. That's kind of messy. But you were like meant to shine. Something about education. You, you could be going back to school or like furthering your education. You teach or you're going to school for like education. Um, Or going, going, to, going to school for education. You're going to school for like um teaching. 
but you're meant to like shine again you could do something where like you educate others or but you just shine in whatever field that you're in and again for many of you your gifts you whatever it is that you're doing this path is going to bring you wealth like that card said but not only just any wealth a generational wealth the type of wealth that you could pass down to those after you and i'm here they're going to thank you once you're gone the people before you are going to, they're thanking you now because you're actually in your purpose or you're being headed towards your purpose and that you did not give up. That's why they chose you because of your resilience, because of your flexible spirit with honors. And you're graduating to a new level. We saw that card about teaching, education, and honors. And this is about a graduation to a next level, whether it's somebody's literally graduating like a level in class, like maybe somebody's going to school for like to be a lawyer, or to be a teacher, to be something. I'm hearing a wealth advisor, so I'm there. But you're graduating. It don't have to be like real school. Like you could have been learning something in this earth school and now sources and seeing, okay, you've, you've, you've learned the lessons. You've went through the trials and tribulations. You've passed the tests. Okay, so now you're graduating with honors, and guess what the reward is? This generational wealth, and it ain't just like oh, you just it just got handed to you. No, baby, you worked for this through those lessons that you learned. I'm here through the suffering, through the pain. Mm. Yeah, because for many of you, it says from scratch. You have to start over from scratch most of the times. I'm here. This could be like the tenth time starting over, and it could have been embarrassing. It could have been making you feel foolish, but you did not stop. You kept going, and that's uh, somebody's gonna be like a millionaire. I just heard, I damn near heard a billionaire, but like somebody gonna have a lot of fucking money with generational wealth. I, did, I heard, I'm going to tell you, I didn't hear a millionaire. I heard, I heard billionaire. I heard billionaire loud as hell. That yeah, repass. So some of these ancestors are helping you to like start from scratch, baby. Even if you had to start out, you felt like you was on your ass. You didn't have two nickels to rub together. It don't, that don't matter. I'm here to think big, big. And you could be just without, you could be shit. All you own is your car. Like living in your car as we speak, I'm here. And sources helping somebody to start from scratch. And it's given like that energy of that lady who said like she didn't have no money, but she just was saving her money and she didn't touch it or something like that. And um, she was like a millionaire, like within the next couple of years, and it went from like being homeless with her son or something like that. And I feel like again, you could have had to start over multiple times, um, but you you and you were discouraged. I'm not gonna say you didn't let that discourage you because it's human nature to get discouraged, but you didn't let that stop you. Even if you did take little moments to kind of like you know, and for some of you to kind of like go over, I mean to kind of like sit in that energy or just like regather yourself again, you were exhausted. You're human. For some many of you with neighborly love, you have neighbors that are gonna want to connect with you and like send you like love and help and like um kindness like you could be relocated to a new neighborhood with like people that are nicer than where you came from or like new neighbors that want to like give to you and like um fellowship with you or again you got people just just like neighbors or just people who know of you in your community that actually favor you i'm hearing or this is what's coming in again you are a visionary something about the way that you see your sight your gift of sight for someone here because i'm definitely picking up on like a seer um but again, this, this generational wealth is definitely something that you are destined for. Bottom of the deck, we have the hand of fate, faded events, forces beyond your control, faded relationships. So something that's coming in for you is faded with the moon here. So it could be hidden right now out of your view. Um... But I do feel like, again, for many of you, you are chosen to create some form of generational wealth. And for many of you, the wealth will come through your children, I'm hearing. The child that you have is actually going to be the one that creates this wealth. And it's just faded. Like, it's going to come through, like, a faded relationship with someone else that you meet, that you were meant to meet. And it's like, this child is very chosen. This child is the one that's supposed to, like, generate this, like, wealth or something like that. For many of you, some of you. Some one. Shit. With wishes granted, wishes coming true, magical energies are surrounding you and your thoughts are manifesting. So your thoughts are manifesting very rapidly right now. I would really just watch, you know, your thoughts, or what are you saying, what are you speaking into existence? Um, definitely you are a shaman energy. You've gone through a spiritual awakening and it says you're connecting with your higher self again. This could be like your third awakening. Like, don't let nobody make you feel like you can't fall down and have to do it over or go through another awakening. Um, you are a healer, it says. You're, you are born from a shamanic lineage like again many of you need to check into like your heritage your gene genealogy um and you're awakening your vision to like this magic i'm here for some of y'all you could just now be stepping into these gifts or like you were putting them off before or, like you know something about the spiritual awakening that you're going through is helping you to unfold to this truth about yourself with fear is fear that's a justice card 
So you're going to be getting justice. And it says follow the signs. So Source is trying to tell y'all how to get to this like things that's perfectly for you, this perfect fit. It says it's not an accident or coincidence. Signs and synchronicities, you are not alone. So yeah, you could have felt like certain signs that Source was giving you like, damn, is that a coincidence? No, Source is really trying to guide your ass towards where you need to be. <laughs> towards whether it's a lover, an opportunity, a new, a new environment. What is that? Some of you guys have to let go of like, um, I'm here, don't let, when you get to, okay, so when you get to this level of wealth, because I'm getting a lot of money, like, you, you okay, so we have the grasp of greed and jealous one here, so I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I got. I, got, I told y'all you're going to have them snakes around y'all and wolves and sheep's clothing, so you're going to have people around you that's possessive, because it says scared of losing you, don't want to share and protective of you, but I'm even getting like, okay, so you can have some people that like, yeah, maybe they're like protective of you, but it's, I, Maybe I got like somebody's jet because look at what it came out with the grasp of greed. People who are greedy motherfuckers wanting to come around you for your gift, your wealth, your your even your like your gift of sight. Like people wanting to use you to like you can't even damn they'll take your eyes out your damn head and pop it in their own if they could. But it's giving like people that could even be very possessive over you because this card of the grasp of greed even talks about possessiveness. It says materialism, possessiveness, selfishness. So people can feel like you're very selfish because you're not giving to them. But it's like, no, you're being discernful. Like, you know who to give to and who not to give to. Um, people just want to come around you to see what they can get from you. Because it says here, ancient ancestral karma, gifts from the ancestors. Some of you have a past. So some of y'all are being gifted from your ancestors. This is past, like, karma or gifts that an inheritance. So what did I say? It was an inheritance that was supposed to go to somebody maybe in a past like that is now coming to you in this life. You don't owe these motherfuckers shit. So don't let nobody make you feel guilty or guilt trip you or make you feel like you're being selfish. But the whole time, these motherfuckers only want to hang on to you. They only possess over you because they don't want nobody else to see that you're the gift. They don't want nobody else to experience you. They don't want nobody else to get their cash cow or their their ticket to, I'm hearing, like, uh success like people feel like they could piggyback off of your success like no source sees these rats for who they are so this is only your new beginning i'm hearing and whatever you whoever you want to bring with you then that's your decision but source is saying something about new connections that is coming into your life so that's why those old doors are being closed people that didn't believe in you can't go where you're going because baby you weren't shooting with me in the gym when i was down on hard times you basically was telling my ass the shit want you wasn't <laughs> It's, you wasn't encouraging me, supporting me. You damn near watched me fall. You ain't have nothing for me. Not even a word. Motherfucker ain't even have a word of encouragement. Damn near was keeping a distance even more when you was down on your hard times. Now that I'm up, you want to come back around? Fuck out of here, clown. Because I'm feeling that. Yeah, now you're in this energy of what? Fanned out. You got fans or you will have fans. No limits or restrictions, it says here. So sources removing all blocks on your path. It's giving like a road opener energy. Like, and you're willing to like move forward now. You're available to like the new opportunities that sources bringing in for you. I'm telling you, like, the skips are coming from your ancestors that they were bestowing upon you. And you're not playing games no more, not with yourself, not with your future, not with your past. And, yeah, I'm hearing your, your future don't look nothing like your past. The fuck? So we got a blessed union here with the moon. So meant to be together. So some of y'all got a blessed union that's coming in for you that you're meant to be with this person. It's going to be a love that transform you. It will come in this new cycle for you, though. And it may take you leaving behind like a toxic, possessive lover or toxic, possessive family members and friends um, who don't really want to see you happy because you and this new person have a divine mission together. And you both are going to be accomplishing. I'm hearing like y'all both may be seers. Y'all both may be like... um teachers or like very wise intelligent individuals or like again just something about y'all remember i said y'all are y'all went through something similar or y'all gonna have the same like type of like understanding um and i feel like you're gonna be completing new things together completing lessons together cycles learning things together and, and being rewarded together hmm because for some of you, yeah, you do have like a mission or with that generational wealth for some of y'all yeah it goes it's, it's deeper than you it goes beyond you You know, we have the first card out here was angel. So somebody is definitely like an earth angel. And you were sitting here to her like, it says you are an angel on earth sitting here to learn certain things about the human condition and to guide humans on earth. A spirit guide in the training to teach and heal others. So you're a spirit guide in like training. I literally spirit, a spirit guide in the flesh. That's why the energy of like education, teacher and learning was coming. I'm like, damn, what's going on? Like somebody in school? You could be, but I'm more so getting like, remember I said earth school? You were an earth angel who was sitting here to like learn the conditions of humans. You're not human. You're literally like an earth angel in the flesh. Angel in the flesh, okay? And you are a spirit guide too. So you are an illuminator. You illuminate a lot for people. Her hair is like a shining, glowing. And you are a light. 
Um, I, I feel like you come from another dimension with dimension travel here. You've traveled over from another dimension to learn the human conditions, to teach humans about like divine ways, divine, you know, divine beings, divine wisdom, esoteric knowledge. I'm hearing you just know stuff. You don't know how you know you're a truth seer. You definitely could be a truth seeker or speaker. Um, with that seek, see your energy or spirit speaks energy, like you get downloads from like the other side, from other dimensions, like literally with this dimension travel, you'll be picking up on a lot of shit. <laughs> I was gonna say that's why the teacher card came out. I guess it's gonna teach it. So yeah, same way that you're here to learn from humans, you're here to teach and guide too. So I find that to be very beautiful. I find you to be very beautiful on a soul level. It says your words have the power to heal, making you a source of light for the wounded that come to you for your guidance and wisdom to give them strength and direction. You give, you give so many people strength and just pure direction of like, where people may not even know which way to go themselves or like something about people coming to you, like maybe uh, they got kids or something. Like, I don't know what to do with like, I'm a single mother and like, but you may not even have kids yourself. I'm just hearing it's something about the fact that you are, you, people trust you enough and it's because you are an earth angel. And even if I'm hearing like you're younger than these people that are coming to you and your soul is very old ancient and wise and you are earth angel here that people are guided to to like teach them to learn from why you're still you're learning from them shit but you definitely come from like another with self-reliance here you could have done something by yourself or very independent but again obviously you're never alone the divine is always on your side and helping you and you understand that but I'm hearing something about like the physical you may be like you didn't have the, the you didn't have a lot of support around you I'm getting it and that's something tough in this day and age where you damn near need like, you know, and I'm here, but you still are coming out on top. And this is showing people just how favorite and divine that you are. Because I don't know if people thought that you wouldn't like do something with dream girl without them. You are a lot of people who dream girl little do you know to or dream guy. Like you, you check the box for a lot of people. It says you have many options in love and that puts you in a place of power. You're the dream girl, the ultimate prize to win. And I ain't gonna lie, you, that could, you could win. Mm. I feel like it actually intimidates people, whoever you are. Um, again, even if you did, you you did face hard times in the past, but it was still something very like the charismatic. It's something that is in you. It's not on you. It ain't got nothing to do with your money and what you own and what you you just always been that girl. Even if you were going through hard times and you were going through like setbacks and like you were always that girl. You didn't look like what you was going through. You know, with the fight. You were a true fighter. You had that fight in you. Got that gnaw in you. Know? <laughs> Um, but you have that, and this even talks about like making the opposite sex, like fight for you, not making them, but you you invoke that type of energy within people because of like you just dream girl. I'm not gonna lie, you could you could even have like a lot of people that be like jealous of you. That's, cause I'm just, I'm just, feel it. You people dream girls to the point where they wanna tussle. It could, it could cause some form of like jealousy. And, and again, you could have felt like maybe you were doing something alone, and you have a very angelic energy to you. I'm hearing keep up like the good like the, the good fight or something like that with clear cognizance. You're able to know things without having any previous knowledge bestowed by your higher self spirit guides or just downloaded into your mind. What was I saying? And somebody is is simply because of these gifts that you may have even been outcasted or demonized before for that you're actually going to be going into this level of generational wealth. Now check the fucking Carfax on that. Imagine imagine like these like say you had family members that were talking down on you because you were a seer since like birth like you just always had like visions or downloads and like you just would see stuff maybe you had a, a gift of like you could see spirits or like talk and commune with spirits or and people were always like oh you're that's demonic or you're schizophrenic or, like just wrongfully labeling you first of all let's talk about how fucking harmful labels can be especially like growing up in like a really religious family everything is demonic baby everything you can't even look too long at the damn tv because you got a demon on you oh, that's the demon of a focus and you know they like to get your focus away from god and you focus too much on anything that ain't the lord it's the demon i ain't saying that's wrong but like people they just giving like you know chill out like that's not everything's not demonic so you could have been demonized a lot but these same gifts that you were demonized for or judged for by friends people you don't even know like i said that girl telling me them all like oh you're like a gypsy oh my god i'll be scared of it so scared you ain't scared enough because yet here we are here we are you know what i'm saying so it's like People just don't understand you. That's more so what it is. And I'm very gifts that you were shunned for, rejected for. I'm here like burned at the stake, like witch trials type of energy. And maybe that's that's what happened in the past life to where you couldn't get some form of like inheritance that was supposed to be passed down to you. Or this is why, because you could have went through something very like tumultuous or tragic in a past life because of these gifts that you have. Like you were very like attacked. You know, it just damn near got okay. And still people be side eyeing like readers and seers and psychics. Like how y'all believe in the divine, but you don't believe we can be divine beings. And if we have... 
Think about it. If you have a father, your father has green eyes. What is the possibility of you having green eyes like your father? Not saying that it's like, oh, it's 100 percent, but it's a good possibility. Like, like your father is a certain like skin tone. It's like say that you come from two very dark skinned parents. What is the possibility that you're gonna also be dark skin? I'm not saying you can't be light skin because it happens, but it's like people, I don't know, like this was passed down from the father to you or the divine. And this could be people who themselves who say they're believers or they believe in God, they believe in my ear is ringing. And I feel like these people are not true believers, but they're, they're going to be seeing that actually real people could be gifted. There are true divine beings. There's true earth angels or something like that is significant. Um, but again, that same shit that you were shunned for, you were, you were pushed away for, you were alienated and rejected for, that's what's going to make you very successful. That's what's going to put you in a public eye. I feel like many of you work with like... What is that? Because I, I can use my animals, my spirit guide deck, my animals. It's something about your spirit guides being like animals for some of y'all. But it's crazy because most of the like, the, the, them beings up in like heaven or the ones, even the ones that was like fallen angels. If y'all look up how they really look, them look like creatures, like animals. So some of y'all, like you have the ability to call on like divine, like I won't say animals, but like creatures of like, and, and um, those were like divine beings, like for some reason, I think God really likes like lions because he used a lot of those creatures that in like in heaven or that like um maybe also fail. They like to have the face of like lions and like so you have like certain animals on the other side and like creatures that work with y'all. As long as you ain't afraid to kind of like I'm here like you could you could call on that energy or channel that energy yourself. And you're very gifted. Um, you could be somebody who many other people could have seen you as like a heartbreaker. Like you could easily I don't get like it's on purpose. Again, it was given the energy of like you have a lot of options or you you create that energy of making people almost like they 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 want to fight for your love or they become like jealous and possessive over you. So many people could have seen you as like a heartbreaker. Shit, maybe it was in the past. I don't know. But I, I feel like it's just because of these energies or these feelings that you inspire within other people and then maybe you just don't feel the same or just they feel like... I feel like you could be somebody who's very sweet too. You're just very kind, and maybe everybody you meet, so people fall for you quicker than you expect, or you just wasn't expect. That wasn't your intentions, and then they, I'm heard they they end up unintentionally like hurting themselves. Yeah, we got witch energy. What was I saying? Like with that witch trial energy, but we also have fortune. So somebody's gonna be very fortunate. I don't know. if Source must want me to read that card because it just fell out with intelligence peeking out. Somebody's very, very intelligent. You could be a fire sign, but I feel like you're gonna be very fortunate. You could be somebody like maybe people considered you like a, a witch. Um, we got telepathy here. That's the card that just fell out. Um, you, I feel like you could use your gift of telepathy. That's kind of like um the ability to like project things to the mind of others. Say you were thinking about somebody, then they're thinking of you. Say you're saying like, oh, I really miss this person. Then all of a sudden they come visit you the next day. Like that's telepathy. Um, and I feel like that's also the the power of the mind. You have a very very powerful mind, and you definitely could be like a fire sign, or you embody that. Many people could you could be like mm, say like a water sign or an earth sign, and people could always mistake you to be like a fire sign. It's because you embody this fiery energy. Um, you could have a lot of fire in your chart though as well, with past lives. What was I saying? It was something about a past life that's significant for you. Um, again, possibly why you're being so blessed in this lifetime because this is something that's followed you over from this lifetime. It's inherited. It's inherited. Um. Some of y'all could have like connection to like Egypt or Cleopatra energy, or you kind of like embody that type of strong, independent, like having a mind for yourself and ruling whatever your own empire is type of energy with that generational wealth. So like you could be creating a legacy for yourself, doing something just like monumental for yourself, where maybe many people would have thought women couldn't do, or you wouldn't. Something about you being a woman though, or if you are, if you are, because you don't have to be a woman for this to resonate with you. But it says a very strong connection to like Egypt. Um, again, some of y'all had like a past life in Egypt, or um, you just had something about your past life is why you're being blessed in this life. Definitely getting you could be a boss like energy. You could have your own business, an entrepreneur. You're meant to work for yourself. I'm here. Chosen ones are always going to kind of like work for themselves, or like not work all chosen ones, but I'm here like. We set our own rules. We set our own schedule. We 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 don't. We're not meant to follow any chosen ones. Aren't meant to follow nobody else. Chosen ones are not meant to like be led. We are the leaders. We're not meant to for people to kind of tell us how to lead our or, or what to do with our finances. You know what I'm saying? We're so some of you guys have been. Yeah, you could be like a humanitarian. Whatever you do, you do like humanitarian work. Especially if you do something like with spiritual work, baby, you are the humanitarian. And there's something about your resilience. Get back up again. Yeah, get back. Yeah. and this is why sources like yeah you could do some form of humanitarian work maybe you're a boss but you're always giving back or you're going into this boss level energy i'm hearing source say even that card that was talking about like don't get arrogant now like 
I was hearing too, like, um, you're going to reach some level where there's just, just a lot of success, a lot of wealth, a lot of like popularity and fame. Um, stay in this energy of being like humanitarian. Now I'm seeing like Rihanna, how she be winning those like humanitarian awards because she comes from like Barbados too. So like maybe you came from very humble beginnings to where that's like that, that's that, it roots you, it grounds you into who you like. I'm not saying you really are uh, like, you're humble. You come from like, I'm not saying you are where you come from, but it's given like, it molded you into being this humble person to like respect everybody that you meet and treat everybody with the same type of respect like treat the janitor with the same type of respect you would treat the president with it's like respect it don't make nobody know better i'm even hearing you even this little point that you're, you don't you don't make you know better than nobody and you understand that because you have a pure heart and this is why source is knowing that you can be trusted with like this gift that they're sending you intelligence and you're highly intelligent it's your resilience and your intelligence that got you through these damn storms that you were going through again you are a seeker of truth and you're fearless baby i mean beginning like um I ain't even actually like you just never have fear but you're you're fearless enough to face your fears you're fearless enough to like overcome your fears right it takes a certain level of fearlessness to where people could look at you like that person ain't got no fears that person just do you know they go for whatever they want they just can get up on stage and sing in front of everybody where's the stage for like you're not scared like but it's because you've spent time overcoming and working through your fears i heard uh that movie with will smith and his son never seeing like those things could like smell your fear like and fear is like false energy appearing real. So you know that anything that you could be potentially afraid of is like maybe because you haven't faced it yet or just it's more worse than what it seems in your mind than in the physical. So it's like you understand a little something about like fear or like facing your fears. And um, you're definitely like a shamanic energy or shaman. Shamanic. Shamanic energy. Um, It says you can tap into a powerful way of guiding your life and the lives of others. Often through great struggle. What am I saying through this whole reading? Because get back up again. That you can learn to break free and awaken to the truth to help others. You were meant to go through the struggle. You were meant to go through this those hard times. You were meant to go through those setbacks. I'm hearing betrayals even. Um, so that you could be a mirror to people who've who've gone through the same things or they will. And again, you're gonna be like a light of hope and inspiration for other people. People who are actually seeking you out, people who are on their own healing journey, and source has literally set you up to go through those things so that you can help somebody else. You're fearless, or at least this is how people that are coming to you seeking your guidance. I'm hearing them. Y'all know I'm gonna cry in a minute, but like the people in the past life were like seeking your guidance too. And maybe you couldn't truly like be who you are, like how you are now, or they may be more out there with your beliefs or your, you know, um, but you've always been so wise, you've always been so healing. And people have, I'm here, they've always seeked out your energy, your angelic life. They feel almost like pulled to you when people are at their like lowers, so, or like you may get into like an Uber with somebody and then like just being in that uber with you or like maybe it's just something you say to like an uber driver and you're just like oh girl that's gonna be okay i went through a situation similar to that like you know just last week and i girl let me tell you all i got over it like you don't even know that person was like thinking about like hurting themselves or something or like not you know it's just something about like maybe somebody just went through something that was like the last straw for them and then they meet you and it's like you just you do something for people like you're a mirror for people and i feel like because you've met yourself i'm hearing like when they say you can only meet people as far as you met yourself you've met yourself at deeper depths than a lot of people have and that's why you could give so much more to people as in wisdom advice love even you are the ultimate mirror and it says you disrupt things in order to enable people to see themselves differently and to begin to heal like you disrupt the natural order of things and not in a bad way not even a natural order but you disrupt the way that things have been moving I'm hearing like maybe for a long time that people just was like, okay, this is okay. Like say again, you came up in a very religious family and you were like the black sheep. You are very, you very spiritual. You do things differently. You don't, you know, I'm not saying you think anything is wrong with like religion, but like you, you are called to do something differently and to mirror these things within people that may need to be changed. So I'm hearing to like shift the status quo or things that people were like, okay, this is just comfortable when we're used to this. And it's like, yeah, now it's time for change. You are the disruptor of what people are normally used to. So people could see your energy as being like very disruptive, very like, I heard somebody because your teachers always could have called you disruptive in class. Like you had that on your report card or you had that on like notes about you, like disruptive, disruptive. But it was something about that because you have a disruptive spirit and not in a karmic way. Like you're meant to disrupt, you know, certain conditions. I say you should have been using that energy in class. But, you know, it's kind of like those energies are like in the movie where you had to learn to like channel and zone in on and, and um master that energy about yourself so yes you are a mirror to other people and yes many people do tend to become triggered in your energy because you are the shaman you and you are an earth angel and you create like a certain level of, like, a, a, like they feel like they have to get on another level they, they feel like there's push to heal like they feel like damn this person is so fearless i want to be fearless like that too and what ways have i been holding myself back and you're very youthful and young at heart no matter how old you may be or young 
is using carry a very very sweet youth voice something about lollipop somebody really or you look good or something like people be wanna you taste just like candy mm -mm, i don't know i let you lick my lolly mm. well, i take it to the candy i don't know but uh yeah i feel like you you allow others to explore their own inner child again i was saying like somebody's like i'm telling you like something about the way that you look we got teased here like people could feel like you a tease or like you use your beauty or your charm or like your body to get what you want but i just feel like you just effortlessly look fucking good and that's not your problem how they feel somebody's really clear cognizant though because here this is again the color red is very significant again you just know shit without knowing it you don't know how you know I don't know what I know, but I know that I know. <laughs> like, you just know shit, and this is because the divine has placed this gift of clear cognizance on you. You're very sophisticated to it. Something about the color red, or something like somebody may wear, wear red turbans, or something about like red head wear. Um, or you cover your head up in red. You know, most people do like white or black. So I'm saying something about red. You're becoming someone entirely new, though. Again, you're not who you used to be. Get back up. Again, I'm hearing this time when you get back up, something about third times the charm or something like that. Even if it's fifth time the charm, eight times the charm. It's something about like, I feel like this time when you get back up, you will not be so easily like um, broken again or like you won't fall again or something like that. Yeah, you are somebody with rebellion. People can see you as somebody that's very rebellious. Like you, again, disruptor type of energy, but... It is what it is. <laughs> you could be a little rebellious, but it's because you're not supposed to, like, again, you're supposed to make your own rules. You're supposed to, like, it's giving Aquarius energy, or you're just supposed to be, like, a trendsetter. You're not supposed to do what everybody else is doing. Say everybody going left. You're supposed to go right. Like, you know, it says your rebellious mind is a force that is able to remove the smoke screens, which cloud the minds. Someone who follows their own path, not that which is popular. That's what I was getting. And this is because of your own rebelliousness. Or you just not listening to others, your own stubbornness, maybe um, your mind of your own. You think for yourself you're not a sheep, at least not in that way. Um, and this is what's opening. Look, ain't nobody else in your damn family got this generational wealth but you. So it's like, ugh, your rebelliousness got you somewhere. So I'm feeling like people may be thinking like, damn, the one that we all thought was like so tr like a troublemaker or so rebellious, like... Even if you had, I hear, like, for some of y'all, you could have went through, like, a very different path. Maybe at one point, you were the one that was always, like, getting in trouble. Something about the law. Somebody could have had, like, a very hard, like, flawed or, like, a very, you know, a different past than where they're at now. Or even if you're going through this now, it's a chance for sorts to turn your life around. I always hear stories of people that used to be, like, locked up or people that used to be, like, in the streets or, like, people that used to kind of be, like, sex kind of, like, workers. And then all of a sudden, they're like, damn, and then I found out about the divine or, like, I tapped into my purpose. And then all of a sudden, like, you know found myself being like a, uh, a preacher or I found myself being like you know on a spiritual journey or like you know in a totally different position where people would probably be like well I would source pick that person to like yeah that's the type of energy like when people may have thought like you didn't deserve this new beginning or this level of like being blessed that you're receiving y'all tell me this who was the one in the bible that source always I mean, some of y'all might not be bible fanatics or give a fuck about the bible but that's not the point it's the message the ones that Jesus or source always liked to work through or within the Bibles was the ones that people outcasted, was the ones that people alienated, was the ones with the anger issues or the ones that Jesus would have to be like, okay, now chill, my boy. Peter was out there cutting off Roman soldiers' ears for Jesus. This is his day to do what he said he was going to do and you over here cutting people's ears off, but I understand it, okay? For some of y'all, you could have had been the energy of like you were seen as like rebellious or who was it? Like other, other prophets in the Bible that um people, they were like adulterous or like they had flaws. Nobody's perfect, but source when source got a plan for you, source got a plan for you, okay? And overcome. So you shall overcome darkness. You shall overcome depression. You shall overcome that dark past. You shall overcome your mother's and your father's words and your family's words. You shall overcome your own inner negative self-talk. You shall overcome all that fear. You shall overcome every obstacle because you are a mystic. You're very mystifying. People be wanting to know more about you. Even though I'm hearing like you're going to reach this level of success and wealth or something like that, people still may not know that much about you or want to know more about you. But you know by now that it's um, bad spiritual hygiene to let everybody know everything that's going on with you or into your world. So I feel like you exude this energy of like mystery and just like people wanting to know more about you. It says you tease the minds with the unknown. Like you tease other people's minds and like them wanting to know. Something about people really feeling like you be teasing them. I don't know if it's just like, like lustfully, which I don't feel like on your end it's on purpose, but it's giving it like people could just feel like you, you are purposefully, like you purposefully don't say too much about what you got going on or you purposefully leave out details and that bugs people. And, and that's why you do it. Because it's like, why do you want to know that bad? Like, why the fuck do you want to know about me that bad? 
I feel like you help other people to like get over their fears. It says here. It says mind power. So what was I saying? Like many of you are you're just very intelligent. Your mind, your intelligence is on a different level. People can't play with you. You are a higher, he says, you are a higher level soul with a mission to create transformation in people's minds. So their emotions can be coming to balance. So you're first starting with the minds. I heard spirit and mind when it comes to people. You work through the spirit and mind. And then that's also going to be straight to the heart. Because of the what? What did they say? The, uh, the, the what does the brain listen to? The heart or something? I mean, the, the brain, the heart listens to the brain or something. I don't know. Can't be the part can't listen to them too darling. They can't listen to the brain because sometimes your your brain will know that somebody's not right for you, but your heart will still. So I'm even getting though again. This is why you start with the mind and like the um like the spirit. Because it's like um but that's a knowingness. Like your heart could be like what you feel, like it's it's a feeling, but you have you work through like a knowingness within people and you start with like their their mind, their and their you help them to overcome like mental battles and maybe their heart is in certain situations and abusive situations. Their heart is in certain toxic situations. Their heart is with certain, you know, things that happened in the past. But you are helping them to release their cells with their mind. You're helping them to get out of a place of darkness in their mind. And then their heart, I'm hearing, is going to follow eventually. Or, But again, you make people want to know more about you. Like you tease people's mind though. Something about you being in this energy of like the unknown, um... And you get people to kind of like, I'm almost getting like with this, something that you teach or something like, like again, those energies about education. Like you could even get people to like, maybe people thought that it was like, oh, lame to like learn more, higher education. I don't know. You'd be having people like wanting to know more and wanting to learn more because of how your curiosity, because of how I'm here intelligent you are. Like people feel like they can't even step in your energy without having something to talk about or um to be intelligent or something like that. Um You make, I'm not even seeing like that's, you could, that's not, your, I don't really get that. That's your that's what you try to do but it's like you invoke that within other people you're very persuasive as well or if you could sell water to a fish you will get what you want through this power of persuasion Ooh. so yeah somebody could be an earth sign here and flipped out so damn heavy or you work with the element of earth very very heavy but it's um definitely could be an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo and you have a very strong connection to earth and earth magic so, um, it says you are a pillar of strength with firm boundaries who demands respect in a very graceful manner. Like, yeah, people feel like they got to respect you when they come in your energy. They got to like, you know what I, was, what was I saying? With detached. And you have, I'm hearing it ain't hard for you to detach from people. Baby, you, yeah, with knowing, because you, your knowingness be telling you like, yeah, that person ain't for you. Yeah, their time has run out. Yeah, go this way. Like, and so you keep a healthy level of detachment with people. Again, this is why you're so mysterious. They don't know too much about you. Even if they've been around you, I'm hearing like, they don't know too much. Not out of like sneakiness. Like, you just know that like, you don't got to know everything about me. Really, you ain't got to know shit. And um, again, for many of you, you could be like earth signs. Very strong, down to earth, um, grounded energies. And again, people know that they have to respect you. Or you kind of invoke that energy of respect out of other people. And again, it's something about your energy of like healthy detachment. Or you live to it. Because you know it's given like, you know, that where they say you're supposed to experience everything. Because you're an earth angel, this is why you have this healthy level of detachment. You know not to get yourself attached to people, situations, outcomes. You know that. You know that that's it's foolish. Like, you know, I'm here. You wise enough to know that now. And you're a deep thinker with emotional intelligence. So, yeah, I feel like, too, because of your emotional intelligence, this is why certain people just can't come around you. And they know that they, they're not there. I heard their IQ ain't even high enough. Mm. And then you know Jesus, why like he they said he um he would fellowship with anybody. He never judged people, even if he was like a street, you know, type of you ain't really believe like he he was he was cool like that, but he didn't he wasn't like he was out here just having tea parties now with everybody and just okay, come on over and sleep under my tent. Like, no, it wasn't none of that, okay? So it's like you could be somebody who many people know that they have to deal with you in a respectful manner. I don't think that, I don't get that you judge people from where they come from, their backgrounds, what they believe in. Like again, like that energy of like you could just you mingle with any you can mingle with anybody. You can get along with anybody. You don't have to believe what I believe. You don't have to look like I look, you know? Um But again, it's like you can make people almost like want to like know more become more intelligent or like work on their own awareness and mind power work on their vibration and again you have a certain level of like inner knowingness you have an ability to connect in, um in, with people in ways that makes them feel heard accepted and seen and um 
It says being able to penetrate their veil often leaves people feeling vulnerable because you have this inner knowing that people be wondering, what the fuck do you know about me? If you can see this much into other people and you can read this much into situations, I ain't told you nothing about what do you know about me that you're not seeing. And again, especially because you're very silent or you're very mysterious, you don't let on too much about what you got going on, what you know. Very high priestess like. And you're very feminine. Femininity. Um you just have an inner knowing. And again, for some of you, you, even though you face hard times, you just knew that you were going to get back up again or you knew that Source had a promise for you. Because I heard for some of you, Source was telling you that all along. Like, you could have got signs when you were younger, like that something was going to really work out for you, that you were like the chosen one, that it was like a plan for you. Um, I'm getting like, I don't know why Source is showing me like Madam CJ Walker when she had the dream, even though she stole that lady's whole idea. But um, it's just yeah, it worked out for her so it's like something about a dream that could have came to you when you were like younger like sources giving you like um the confirmation that actually you were going to be very successful but you are a warrior here it is saying you did not let those obstacles that you were going through again stop you or pull you out of your element you still had a fighter warrior like spirit and this you are diversion baby i don't know if you guys seen that movie but i oh excuse me seen that movie um diversion But it says you can it says you stand out from the rest. The way you think, the way you dress, it's rare and unique, making you very desirable. So people desire you because of your authenticity. People desire you because of your essence. People desire you because of your individuality. And you are, I'm here and still a sweetheart through everything that you've gone through. You did not allow it to make you to make your heart hard. To make you want to seek revenge against those who have done you wrong. You didn't allow it to make you become those who've hurt you. You still had this warrior spirit. You still were fighting to get to this land of milk and honey or to get to this next phase within yourself to get to this transformation and it says you have a warrior spirit and you're not afraid to face conflict and challenges while at the same time you remain committed to a path of goodwill and fairness like you still treat people fairly you're still a humanitarian you still help people even though i'm hearing for some of y'all the same people who tried to do you dirty back in the day now coming back around and ask you for help and you help them for some of y'all you could be like hell no i ain't helping you you ain't shit what the fuck but i mean some of y'all you, you you have this pure heart where you, you you're going to help like these same people who damn near try to like i don't know Maybe demonize you in the past. Maybe say that you weren't really gifted. Maybe they laughed at your gifts. Maybe they joked about you and your circumstances. But you are still a sweetheart. Something about like the color pink is significant for somebody. And it says you live from love. That's like the highest vibration. And upon aside from authenticity, I mean, they got that out of somewhere now. They talking about authenticity is the highest vibration. So love or authenticity, whichever one, they both up there. So, <laughs> but um, in order to be truly in the energy of love, you have to be authentic, though. So it says you live from love, seeing the divinity and love beneath the surface and shaping others' world and experiences through the perception of the heart. You work from your heart space, okay? Although you're very intelligent and you also use logic and the power of the mind, you really live in your heart space. A healthy balance of both, but I'm hearing more so, and especially in your heart space. Like if the love exudes from you, it overflows from you to the point where you inspire this hope within other people just because you're a very loving being. Because you're not, you don't treat people how they treat you. You're a true empath, it says here, literally. You feel other people's emotions. You have the empathetic, excuse me, you have the empathetic abilities being able to feel another person's emotions as well as their thoughts and energy. Having no control or awareness over this exchange. For some of y'all, y'all didn't even know this for a long time that that's what that was. You would get drained after certain people would talk to you after for so long or touch you. I mean, again, something about touch, baby. That was really, really big for me when I was um, younger, especially in high school. All you had to do was like touch me, baby. When I say, give me a pillow. And one of them a little face mask because I'm going to go to sleep. Like, I didn't know that until, like, another empath told me. It's because these people, she said, you will have a high vibration. Like, imagine, like, um, was it like a light bulb or something? Like, and it ain't got no power in it, but you put it up to something else that's very charged. Like, it could steal your power, like a, a like a battery that's, like, low, but you have a high battery. There's, she told me, she was like, they're stealing your, your, your energy. Like, and I did not know that. And I respect her and I love her forever for, like, telling me that um, because, baby, it was news to me. I was like, well, well, I'll be damned. I mean, I was just casually telling her, like, girl, I don't know why, baby. Somebody could just touch my head like that, and I would just knock out. And also, that could mean, too, for some of you, maybe you need more touch, human touch, physical touch. Um, like, touch. Like, um, you could get drained sometimes because you lack touch, or you lack human touch. That's for some of you, but more so, I'm getting definitely an empath energy where you sponge up a lot of energy. So make sure that you're also, we saw that spiritual bath uh, card. Some of you do need to kind of cleanse your energy. Take a spiritual bath because you... 
sponge up a lot of people energy is especially if you are a reader and you do this every day or you do it for like just a you know in your in your purpose or you do something with spiritual work cleanse please cleanse baby you help a lot of people on a daily basis or even if it's just three people a day or one person a day, cleanse that energy that you were helping them or it's an energy exchange so cleanse you could definitely be a, a, a diviner or diviner or however you say that shit where you do things through like through divination or like through means of like finding answers out through like um your psyche or like a cards she's like a, she has cards on here so somebody's definitely like a reader um through hidden ways or you find different ways that help you to go towards the right path somebody definitely has a gift of like speaking to the dead and remember i was saying like you could have been shunned for that when you were little like you saw spirits you could speak to spirits like you didn't know like you didn't know shit and people could have been around you like oh you schizophrenic or oh you you this you that you psychosis and I even heard like spiritual psychosis. People could have thought you were going through spiritual psychosis. No, baby, you are real gifted. I'm hearing somebody damn near you. Fuck around, got me be like you just really gifted. Like you're gifted. Look the and performer. People could have thought you were putting on a show with the dead here. Like maybe when you were saying like I literally could speak to the dead or I could see like um or somebody could like be going into the line of like you know what I'm psychics that be like having their own shows or like like really well known. But I'm doing I'm you have a lot of gifts. You have a lot of gifts or a particular gift that's going to help you to like reach some level of like wealth with discernment and it's going to be showing you that i'm hearing this gift and look how she's saying with clear audience like she has her hand up to her ear you're going to be hearing like your spirit guys tell you like no nah, i don't connect with that person and many of you these are like spirit guys with the dead here who have passed over ancestors now i'm of us who was never on this earth like people who know like they they walked this earth before like um with the dead like it's it's, it's giving like because you, in order to be dead you had to have been alive at one point otherwise you'd just be shit a spirit or just existing i don't know um but you have the gift of receiving intuitive messages from spirit, okay? And it's coming from, like, other dimensions, or it could seem like it is. But I'm going to be getting, like, the other side, like, the other, you know? And, and this is why your discernment is on 10, because your, your guys, I heard specifically, like, a father figure for somebody or a mother figure. They be telling your ass, when moon goddess, and you're a star seed, you could work with the moon phases, baby. And you're a star seed. And they be telling you, like, yeah, nah, don't, don't connect with that person. Or they're going to be telling you, like, once you reach this level of success and wealth, like, they're going to even be more so in your ear. So listen. And for many of you, yes, you have psychic dreams. Like, you're so gifted. People in devilish ways. People who definitely, you are somebody, people who have definitely demonized you, Bruno. Because <laughs> they all thought he was the problem. Oh, you don't speak about Bruno. No, no, no. So you can even have from a, come from a family of people who won't even speak your name. Or people who feel like, um, you're demonic or something. Or like, they're... That girl told me, I'm scared of them gypsy. Like, don't even know me from a can of paint. But then it's like, and it's because of like your 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 aura and your gifts. And um, you're very psychic. Or like, again, people can see you as like being like having a dark side. And maybe you do. Shit, it ain't all love and light always over here. Especially not over here. But um, it keeps the people intrigued. Like, what are you doing behind the scenes? What do you really get into? You're very hypnotic, it says here. You have people hypnotized. Something about somebody having very beautiful, like, eyes. Even if it's, like, brown. I'm hearing, like, very beautiful brown eyes, specifically, though. Somebody could have, like, a grayish, almost look to their eyes, a like grayish tint to their eyes. And you're very hypnotic, again. And it's just because, like... It says your devious ways create a touch of dangers that is hard to resist. There's a dark side of you that keeps people intrigued. So, yeah, it keeps people intrigued, although they may even be a little afraid of you. That's what it be. Like, yes, they're afraid, but they're also so intrigued with you. Like, they're also so like, ooh, I want to know more about this person. But if I get too close, like, it might hurt or it might, you know, I don't know what might come with that. Like, and again, I'm hearing from many of you, that'd be like your protection where people be afraid to connect with you or like they may not even connect with you at all because they were afraid of you. Like, you don't need nobody in your energy. Why would you want even those type of people around you? Who are afraid of you or who are afraid of, like, what you stand for? Um, I feel like many of you are learning, too, that things that you went through, yeah, you're letting go of, like, karmic connections. Um, it was helping you to become not phased by certain attacks or certain things that people would say about you. You don't even react the same way to negativity I'm hearing, literally. We got divine love with twin flame coming out. So there's something about you guys having to grow into, like, this new version of yourself or into the best version of yourself before you could get this twin flame for some of you. For some of you, you could already be in contact with this twin flame, but it's crazy that this came out together because this is a card about a divine love. It says divine love, receiving abundance, and heart chakra activation. And this one says twin flame. Yes, they are your twin flame. Yin and yang, life forever change. So as I was saying, many of you are coming into a, like a union um, that you will create a legacy with this person or some form of generational wealth. And yes, this will be like a twin flame who mirrors you. Say like, again, you have a certain level of wealth or success. They will too. This is not going to be somebody that you have to raise up or something like that for some of you. Um, not saying they're going to be like a celebrity or anything, but they can hold their own. And uh, it says sacred emerald. Emeralds could be significant. Be somebody like birthstone or something i don't know um 
it was a lot of spiritual lessons. It says religious factors. So yeah, many of y'all could have like, it says spiritual lessons, religious traditions, differences in spiritual beliefs. You and this person could have like a difference in spiritual beliefs. It's something about y'all that's going to kind of be like yin and yang, but y'all going to mirror, but like opposites attract or something like that. But y'all going to be similar, but also opposite. Um, and I'm even getting like, um, it could have been a difference in spiritual beliefs or it could just mean like people that, you know, almost like shunned you for your spiritual beliefs. That was also like a spiritual lesson for you because you see on this card, it's like, it, it looked like obviously that's not the real Jesus, let's be for real, but um, it's supposed to with the crown of thorns, it's supposed to be like symbolic of Jesus. So, it was something about maybe you are spiritual and you still believe in Jesus, maybe you don't believe in Jesus at all. It's just maybe people had a different belief than you, and it was like it was risky for you to step out into some form of a path that you were on or that to be so open with your beliefs or to like you know, but it led you. I'm feeling like it's going to lead you towards the right path this, this abundance, this generational wealth, and your twin flame. So, it's like who cares. Yeah, with the pretty bride card. And then we have the devil's domain. For some of y'all, you're meant for some form of like a, a union or relationship or something like that. Um, but again, something about you have to get out of this energy with these karmics or these karmic environments or like bad habits or addictions and just codependent relationships and dynamics or I don't know. Um, again, you could have been going through a very karmic cycle in your life. Or for some of y'all, though, I ain't gonna lie, it speaks of obsession on this card. I, I don't get it in a karmic way, but I guess since it came out with that, like, you, your person could even be, like, obsessed with, like, bringing a commitment to you, marrying you even. And for some of you, I'm just getting, like, you had to ascend out of this, like, devil-like energy, that low level, that low vibration that maybe you were operating out of at one point, but you were actually meant to be a wife. Like, maybe you were operating in devil-like energy at first, like, um, as in, and it don't mean, like, demonic. Like, it means you were just maybe making the wrong decisions, staying stuck in poor situations and environments and relationships that wasn't serving you, eating the wrong things, watching the wrong things, pres prescribing to the, uh, subscribing to the wrong things. And I'm telling y'all, for some of you, it's like when you go through this change or you pick yourself back up and you, you transform, that's when like a union comes in. And I feel like your person is going to be like, equally like obsessed with like bringing you an offer this is a part of like chivalry like this person is going to want to court you the right way take care of you have old-fashioned values and want to like support you take again something about taking care of you with the radiant sun and making you very happy to where you could have had lovers in the past that were like bread from you they didn't see you as like the being somebody that they should give their the best offer to like they wanted to plan your top because they did not see you as the best but yeah, that's over with with the Grim Reaper. That shit's over with, but you have to see your worth. You have to pick yourself back up. Even if it was just like at a job, people not wanting to give you what you're worth. And as long as you let people play in your energy, I'm going to see it forever, they will play. So when you close out that cycle, I'm hearing you and your lovers. Or your lovers, excuse me, I'm talking about lovers. Maybe you had lovers. Maybe you had them. With the word, look, look what's here again. We're blessed you again. So for some of you, it says meant to be together. A love that's transformed. Two cards talking about a divine love. You both are meant to transform each other, the world do something like i heard like missionary work or like humanitarian work maybe both of y'all are gonna be like readers doing something in the line, spiritual line of work just something where you're going into some form of it says a divine mission together and for many of you you and your person are like healers y'all both come from like shamanic backgrounds or like families are like i don't know like y'all just have a high level purpose together with ancient history and it says someone you have a past with so you definitely have a past life with this person um and y'all are meant to like do something that's going to help to transform your, your own um i'm hearing ancestry or your own like um karmic past life karmic wounds and past life ancestor wounds and just you both are chosen to break some form of generational strongholds and again it says ancestral karma and gifts from the ancestors so y'all ancestors are both leading you guys to heal to get on a certain path or if you are already together to go into this like legacy or creating this generational wealth together um especially if you were in the energy of being independent you won't be i ain't gonna say like how soon but you won't be forever um you do have a person that you're supposed to be creating some form of like a you i mean a divine mission together or i'm hearing like accomplishing this mission together or following out with it with the hand of fate here faded events faded relationship forces beyond your control the both of y'all are not going to be rising star but both of y'all are not going to be able to stop this this wealth this attention this this success that's coming in for you this love no one's going to be able to stop this favorable outcome joyful transformation and recognition you and your person could be really recognized in like the public eye or recognized by the divine and again it's something about the hand of fate that's helping this come together it's faded this speaks on a faded relationship for some of you and again you get back up again so where source can rise you to the the, the new depths that you belong this rising star energy for many of you going into like the public eye or something like that or some level of like recognition i'm here say goodbye to the karmic say goodbye to the past
okay because this new this new energy that you're walking into source is actually waiting on you to accept this source is actually waiting on you to be ready for this or waiting on you to recognize um your worth that you are deserving this of this or that this is waiting on you because it's your inheritance i'm here so ask the father okay ask the father so again the people who are worried about your gifts are like if they were genuine, if they were of the lie, like again, or if they even believed at all, it's not for them to, to believe. It's for you to believe in yourself. And I'm even getting like, again, like um, these gifts were passed down from the divine. These are divine gifts, okay? This is why you know what you know. You can do what you do. You have the clearance. And again, it's going to be shown through this rising star energy of wish fulfillment of you being this healer. People recognize that energy within you. And again, this transformation, maybe it wasn't joyful at first. Maybe it was hard at first, but I feel like it's now you're going to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So that's the reading, you guys. I truly do hope that it gave you the confirmation that you were needing um, and answer some questions for you guys. Um, like, share, and subscribe. I had to get that out there real quick. Excuse me, appearance. But I love you guys.